Hey everyone, welcome back to Art a la Carte. Today we're going to have kind of a nerd geeky fest and I'm going to show you how to draw some My Little Ponies Friendship is Magic. I have been a fan of My Little Pony since I was a little girl and got my very first My Little Pony back in the early 1980s. I've enjoyed watching the TV shows and the movies and collecting My Little Ponies and really enjoy the new uh, Friendship is Magic TV show. I'm going to teach you today how to draw just the basic um, base for a My Little Pony and then from this base you can create just about any My Little Pony that you want. For this I'm just using a regular pencil um, as a 4B. I'm going to draw really lightly so I can erase a lot of my lines and I'm just using regular um, just um, printer paper. So let's get started. Uh, there's one basic shape is your circle and you're going to use three of them and they're roughly a um, two of them are roughly the same size and one of them is a lot bigger and the big one is obviously the head. So I'm going to draw one circle here, nice big one for the pony's head. And then I'm going to, just in my mind's eye, I'll draw it out here for you. I don't have, you don't have to draw this out every time though. I'm going to cut this one in half and bring it straight down. This will help me to know where to put my next circle. And it's not going to be as big. I'm going to put one circle here. And there's not a lot of diff uh, distance between this circle and the head. They have very short necks. So one circle here, and it can come out a little bit over than that, but it just kind of gives me a little idea. And then I'm going to put the same exact size circle right next to it. And this is the rump, so there's the chest and there's the rump. And again, you'll see I'm drawing really lightly. I'm going over several times to get just the right shape of my circle. Now from here, I'm going to come up, I'm going to draw this line and just curve it straight underneath. This is going to be the front of the chest. And I'm going to bring it all the way back around. Again, we're drawing really lightly because I'm going to be erasing some of these lines to add in the legs. Then I'm going to bring it, bring in the back line of my neck, and it's going to come up to the head. And usually, when we bring that up, we have it come flush right, flush right out with the neck. But I'm actually going to have the head pop out just a little bit. If you look at a, at a pony base without the mane there, you'll see that their head just poke out just a little bit. And as it comes down, they don't have a very uh, big back because they're just ponies. And it's just going to come right up for the rump and just curve around. So you get this really cool kind of bean shape right here, which is nice. Okay, and then depending on what your pony's face is doing, um, I'm going to draw a line out to kind of show where the muzzle's going to go. So it's going to come right here. And it's going to come out just a little bit, really smooth. And then this one's going to wrap around and point right into that circle. I'm not going to really gently curve it up. I'm going to let it have that sharp angle and then continue up with the circle of my pony's head. Now, different ponies have different noses. This is just um, the basic nose. Some of them have noses that come out. So you'd have to kind of research on what pony you want to draw to determine what kind of nose you want to give it. But I'm going to give it the rounded, rounded nose and bring that around. Okay, and then for the ears, I'm going to follow this line up, and when it gets about halfway, I'm going to bring out kind of a rounded triangle shape. Just like so for the pony ear. I'm going to make a little small indent for that side. So this is pretty much finished for the pony, uh, the base of the pony's head, so let's look at the legs. We're going to have just the pony just standing um, square, so both feet are going to be just straight down from there. So I'm going to come in just a little bit from the edge of the circle and bring a line straight down. And it's going to be about the same distance from here to here as it is from here to here. Now as it comes down, it's going to flare out a little bit. So as I bring my back line, it's going to come out, it's going to get thicker as it comes out. So you, so you have it a little thinner here and as it comes down here, it gets a little bit thicker and then curves around, just like so. And we'll bring the other leg back behind here. We'll curve that one around too. So there's your front legs. Now your back legs, you're gonna follow this line around, and then as you get to where it bends back to the back of the leg, it's just gonna really go a sharp angle back, and then down. 
And then the front of the leg is going to be, this is the only one that's really smooth, kind of just goes with the flow. So it just kind of does a sweep motion. Just like that. And then you can bring your other leg in and just follow that same line. And you just end it a little earlier so it looks like it's back further. So there we go. We have a completed base for our My Little Pony. So I'm going to take my eraser, I'm going to erase the lines I don't need, and then we'll look at different manes and tails. So this is where the fun begins, looking at this pony and really making it um, an individual. Lots of things change depending on what kind of pony you're drawing, the eye shape, the mane, the tail, and especially the cutie mark um, is fun. So you can draw a typical My Little Pony. You can look at how those different designs go and draw that one, or you can create your own. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to create my very own My Little Pony based on if I was a My Little Pony, what would I be, which is fun. So I'm going to think about my eye. I'm going to give myself some big eyes. So I'm going to give a nice oval shape here. I'm going to cut into that oval shape the actual eye um, iris, and I'm going to put in my shine mark. So you put a little circle shape in there for a shine. Maybe even another little smaller one in there, and then work in your iris, and then give some eyelashes. So there you go. And then something distinguishing about me is I have glasses, so I'm going to put in some nice oval shapes right there for my glasses. I'm bringing my smile and my nose, just like that. So there's my face, and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, create my hair. So I have really short hair, which is when it's kind of curly. So I'm going to kind of create kind of a curly mane, just like that. And then for the back, it's not going to be too flowing, so I'm just going to kind of cut it in a little bit. just like so for my mane. For my tail, I'll go ahead and just create kind of a, since I don't have a tail in real life, um, I, I will give myself a nice flowing tail, but I'm going to give it some curls at the end. And if you don't like something, you can always go back and erase them and take out that curl. It just looks a little weird. So there we go. And then, of course, probably the most important feature is going to be my key mark. So I'm going to pick something that represents who I am or what I like to do and make my cutie mark. So there I have a finished design of my My Little Pony. I could, of course, add a unicorn horn or pegasus wings if I wanted to, but I'm going to keep myself just a normal pony. Now I'm going to take my pen and I'm going to ink it in and erase the lines I don't need then.
can have a lot of fun creating a pony that looks whatever you want it to look like, like you or your friends. It's a fun gift to give to people. Look, I made you into a My Little Pony. It's um, different. So <laughs> I hope you have fun creating your own herd of My Little Ponies, and I would love to see which ones you create. So please post some pictures of your drawings on my Facebook page. The link is in the description box below. Or you can always make a video response to this video here so that others can go to see your um your channel. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. That way um, I know what people are, are liking and I can create more of these types of videos in the future. Um, if you really liked it, please leave me a comment. And let me know. That'd be wonderful. And if you're not already a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any of our videos coming up in the future. Thanks again for drawing with me. Have a wonderful day. God bless you guys. and We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.